Hey guys, welcome to a new video. In today's video, we're going to look at this lead code problem and the problem's name is find players with zero or one losses. So in this question, we're given an integer array called matches where every element inside the matches array consists of two elements. The first element is going to represent the winner and the second element is going to represent the loser of that match. So winner i defeated loser i in a match. So this is one element inside the matches array. Now our task is to return a list of size two where the first element inside the list is going to be the list of all players that have not lost any matches and the second element inside the answer is going to be list of all players that have lost exactly one match. We want a list of all winners who have not lost any matches and we want a list of losers who have lost exactly one match and the value in the two lists should be returned in increasing order. So these lists should be sorted in ascending order. Now let's take a look at these examples and see how we can solve this question. Now let's take the example one, we are given the matches array. So let's see what each element inside this array represents. So let's take one element from the matches array. So this is one match, which is equal to one comma three. So every array is going to have two elements. This is going to be the winner of that match. And this is going to be the loser of that match. Now this is the format for all the elements present inside this matches array. So let's start out by finding out the number of losers and how many times they have lost. So we iterate every array and build a map because we have to represent the loser and how many matches he has lost. So let's build a map where key is going to be the loser and the value is going to be how many times he has lost. Because we have to check if a loser has lost only one match, we have to put them in a list. So this will be the second list. So I'm forming the second list now. The loser here is three. So add them. It's a three again. So increment its count. So player three has lost two matches until now. Player six has lost one match. Player six has lost two matches. Player seven has lost one match. Player five has lost one match. Player eight has lost one match. Player nine has lost one match. Player four has lost one match. And player nine has lost another match. So increment its frequency by one. So I'm going to name it losers map. Now we need a list. So I create a hash set first for a winner's hash set. So I create winner set. So this is a hash set. So it does not contain duplicate values because we don't want duplicate winners. So we can use a hash set here and hash map here. Now I need all the winners and the winner is at the zeroth element position inside every element. So I access this one. I check if this one is present as key inside the map because key represents the losers. So I have to check if this player one has lost any matches or not because winner should not lose any matches. If he is present inside this map, it means he has lost one or more matches. Since one is not present anywhere inside this, so I can add him as a winner. I add one here. Now I go to two. I check if two is present inside the set. No, he is not present inside this key set. So I can add two as the winner. I check three if he is present inside the map. Yes, he is present here. He has lost two matches, so he is not a winner. I go to the next element. He is a 5. I'll check if 5 is present inside the map. Yes, 5 is present. He has lost one match. So he is not a winner. Next, we check 5 again. 5 is again present. He is not a winner. Next is a 4. I check if 4 is present as key. Yes, it's present. So he is also not a winner. It's a 4 again. It's present. He's not a winner. It's a 4 again. It's present. He's not a winner. It's a 10. We check if 10 is present inside this key. No, 10 is not present. It means he hasn't lost any matches. So add him as a winner. Now it's a 10 again. We check if it is not present inside the key set. It's not present. But we already added 10 as a winner. So hash set does not take duplicate values. So 10 won't be added again. So a final result is going to be a list of lists. So this is going to be the winners list. Here as you can see, it's a list of list of integers. And this element is going to be a losers list. And we almost have our answers. Now we have our winners list, but it is a set. So I'm going to convert this into a array list because we need to add him as a list and not a set. So this will be converted into an array list and same elements will be added into that array list. So this is a one step process. I'll show you during code. Now we can return this winner list. So winner list will be added here and we have our values 1, 2 and 10. Now we have to formulate our losers list. We have our losers list, but we have to check one more condition that each loser must have lost exactly one matches. So we iterate through all the losers inside the set one by one and we'll check their values. If this value is equal to one, it means he has lost exactly one match. Only then we'll add it into our losers list. 
So I create a list called losers list and initially it is empty, right? Now I iterate through the first loser. We check if he has lost exactly one match. No, he has lost two. So we skip that and go to the next loser. We check player six. If he has lost exactly one match, no, he has lost two. So we ignore this. We check seven. If he has lost exactly one match, yes, he has lost exactly one match. So add that player as a loser list. We check five. If he has lost exactly one match, yes. So add five. We check eight. If he has lost exactly one match, yes. So add eight. Nine has lost two matches, so we can't add him. Four has lost exactly one match, so add four. And now finally we have our losers list. So we directly add that into the first index position inside the result. So seven, five, eight, four are added into our result. But here we have to check one more thing. These should be sorted in ascending order. These lists. So before adding them into our result, we will sort them in ascending order. This is already sorted in ascending order. But again, we have to sort this in ascending order. So apply sort on both the winners list and losers list, and finally we'll get our output. So finally we have our output. One to ten is the winners list, and four, five, seven, eight is the losers list, which is matching our expected output here. So let's implement the same steps inside a Java program, and then you'll clearly understand the logic. Coming to the function given to us, this is the function name. This is the return type, a list of list of integers. So this is the answer result. And we are given the input matches array as a 2D matrix. Now, as I said, let us declare a hash set for winners and create a map for losers. And the map is going to contain integers as key and value. Now, let us iterate through this input matrix using a for each loop. So I create a 1D array which is going to iterate through the 2D arrays present inside this. Now I'm going to fill the losers map. So the losers are going to be the first element at the 0th index and 1st index. So the loser is going to be at the 1st index of every element. So all these are losers. So I'm going to add all these into this losers map. So losers are put. So I'm accessing every match and they're present at 1st index. So match of 1. And now I'm going to use map.getOrDefault method and get the frequency of that match. If that frequency is not present, we set the default value of zero. If it is present, we keep on incrementing that occurrence by one. Now we fill the map with all the losers. And now again, I'm going to iterate through this matches array using a for each loop. And now I'm going to fill this winner set by using the data present inside this losers map. So I have to add the winners which are present at the zeroth element of every match. But I also have to check they haven't lost any match. So that can be checked by checking if this winner is present inside the losers map. If they are not present, only then we are going to add them inside the set. So if the winner of that match is not present inside the losers map, it means he hasn't lost any match. So I am checking the losers list by checking the keys inside this losers map. So if he is not present inside that map, it means he hasn't lost any match and then I can add him into the winner. So winners list dot add of match of zero. So this will happen for all the matches and finally we'll get our winners set. Now we have to create our output, right? And the output contains two lists. So let us create the two lists. First list is going to be for winners. I'm going to name it winners list. And the second list is going to contain all the losers who lost exactly one match. So I'm going to name it losers list. So let me copy this once and paste it here and I'll change this to losers list. Now we have our answer present inside the set. So we just have to replicate all the winners present inside the set into this winners list. So you can directly convert that set into a list by placing that as a parameter here. So I copy the set's name and place it as parameter here which will convert it into a list. Now we have our answer winners list. Now we need to add all the losers into the losers list. But we have to check this condition. All the losers have lost exactly one match. We will get to know how many matches that loser has lost by accessing the frequency of that loser. If this value is equal to one only, then we have to add that loser into this list. So let me use a for loop to iterate through the keys inside the map. So I created a set of all the losers present inside this map. So all the keys will be converted to a set and I'm accessing each element inside the set. So I have each loser. Now I have to get the frequency of this loser from the map. So if map dot get of loser will give me the frequency of that loser. 
if it is equal to 1 then it is satisfying our condition only then I will add this loser into this losers list so losers list dot add of loser so this loser is going to be added into this list now we have our losers list and winners list now our final task is to sort them in increasing order so sort these two lists in increasing order using the collections.sort method I sorted the winners list in ascending order let's do the same for losers list I'll copy this once and paste it here and convert winners list to losers list here now we sorted both the lists in ascending order and now finally we have to return our output which is a list of lists so copy this and create that as a result so I created the result in the result the zeroth element is going to be the winners list so result dot add of winners list and the second element is going to be a list of all losers who lost exactly one match and all these values are present inside the losers list so result dot add of losers list now we have a result so return it as the output so return result and that's it now we can test our code so let's run the code uh, so this is losers right because I named the map as losers and here too the map is called losers now let's try to run the code there's a typo here winners now let's try to run the code and the test cases are being accepted let's submit the code and a solution has been accepted so the time complexity of this approach is o of n log n o of n because we are iterating through the input matrix because we are sorting the array in ascending order and the space complexity is o of n because we are using a set and a map which is taking o of n space so n here is the length of the matches array that's it guys thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video